One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. I think this particular Cadillac came with the same color here and here, um, where a lot of them were painted, um, but different. But I think this one was painted at some point, and in being such, it's got some very flaky paint on it in places. Um, as you can see, Trent's got this sanded down a little bit here, and man, it went right to the, the paint just peeled off of this whole panel. And we're just kind of blending it in a bit and you're stuck with this chrome piece where the ones that were painted from here down had no chrome so I'll show you on the other side you're kind of stuck with a choice and this car has its little faded things here and there I've not got a lot I'm gonna do to it Samantha uh, we're not gonna really change a whole lot um, Trent grab one of them cans of the hammered um, the gold will work something that shows the wheel uh, you can see that there and you know, it should look like that, but these little areas, it's not rusty or nothing, it's just, look, you can see, in fact, it's almost like a wood grain or something on the plastic. Plastic grain! I want one that shows the wheel! Um, and this stuff goes over anything. I got a couple different kinds. It's a hammered finish, and you'll get a rougher texture, texturized finish. It stops rust, if there was any rust. Um, on this one, there's not um, anything to worry about like that. But as you can see, the paint's coming off in sheets. Sheet, yeah, man. You see here, look. So, and this stuff, it'll go right over anything. Directly over rust, which ain't what we're doing. Uh, we're doing a little bit of prep work to it. And going to sand it down and spray it down. Leaving the chrome to look good. I'll clip some more in on this and kind of show you what she looks like afterwards. Hey Trent, move away from that side real quick. Um, I'll show you what this side looks like. Kind of pre-done, I guess you'd say. And it's a nice little car. It's only got about, what, 80,000 miles or so? Or so, or so on it. Um, so 82 or 83, he said. Awesome car. And that's that. OneOwnerCarGuy.com will show you how it looks with the new silver. And it's a little faded up top, man. I mean, the car needs a couple things. We're just not going to paint it. Well, we're going to paint part of it. Thanks for watching. Well, One Owner Car Guy, and this is a beautiful DeVille here. And all the sides are sanded down there below. And you can see, I'm going to put some pre-wash on it tomorrow or whatever. And look at that wood grain. Wood grain! Not really. But there's going to be a little spot there that's kind of dickered. And that piece is a little loose. But this is going to look a lot better when it's done. I'm going to show you both sides here. Took the front piece off. Sanded down the piece around the front. Going to do that too. Um, and I think it'll just look a lot better when we're done. Because it'll look better. Going to do the review on the Buick Century Limited. And make sure I'll, I'll clip, make sure and clip some more in here. And all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is. Wherever you are. I sure like these old um, sedans like this. I really do. Well, we're here at the Cadillac now. And you want to use a pre-cleaner. This is a regular old Parts Plus pre-cleaner. I probably had this can forever. Um, just a regular old towel work. Whatever you got that's not got no grease, no oil, and stuff like that. But this is what I should have done on the Jeep. Um, you just get a little wet and you wipe everything down nicely. Um, it gets any kind of contaminants and residue and even soaps. Um, we soap the heck out of it to get anything off because we weren't going to use this. And then rinse, 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 rinse. This will still get garbage that you don't want on it, on it, off of it. Did that make sense? I think that made sense. One owner car guy, one owner car guy .com. And that's the deal. We'll be painting this thing in a while. And it'll be looking a little better than it does, I think. We'll talk to you. I'll clip more in a second. Well, we got parts of it taped off here. I got my paint and I got my primer. My primer is a nice white primer. You can't even hear the ball when you start. And you got to make sure and shake the heck out of this stuff. Man, that one is set down there, ain't it? It should. Loosen up, there we go. Think about that. You know, when they say shake, shake it for 30 seconds or so, they mean it. Shake this stuff. 
get it mixed up or it's just not going to do it to it. And other than that, I like to leave them sitting out here in the sun for a good 10-15 minute or so. This is what we're using, a hammered finish. Really easy to work with. It really goes on nice and it'll keep any rust. It'll keep some metal chips off and everything by having a nice thicker coating. It's more expensive of a coating, but for this kind of an area where it's chip prone, I guess you would say, it's a great product for it, I think. Well, be right back. Well, the paint's good and warmed up. Been out here for a while. And I'm just putting a light coat of primer. With this kind of a product here, you don't even need to put primer. And you can honestly just go over anything you want to go over. Um, including but not limited to rust. Um, but I like to get a little bit of primer on it to kind of get a even color and such on the final. I had to make sure I had primer, not wet paint, white paint there. But it just gives you a nice more even coloring um, and whether you go with a lighter primer or a darker primer will kind of make your color pop a little sometimes too or not pop um, you could sand in between coats here if you wanted to get a really nice finish um, but the stuff I'm using it doesn't really take that in fact what I'm doing now is almost too much setup for it it just doesn't take it um, like on the other one there's not enough setup now it's too much setup oh man knees are getting old got a little primer on the tire This has got like a wood grain finish to it. And I just don't want that to come through in any way. And that's what kind of made me think I wanted to do this here with a little primer first. Is the fact that I had maroon and white next to each other. Shake this stuff up in between too, it does help. You can see right there, you're even gonna have a wider look on probably the maroon. But this will even it up a lot for the um, actual paint we're gonna use. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com, beaglespocket.com. I like to have a place set up for this kind of stuff. And I don't right now. That's okay. I don't do much of this kind of stuff anymore. It's mostly just... Um, I'm going to do a little bit of this one right now. Can somebody grab that? Got phones ringing and stuff. It's hard to stop for a while to do something because next thing you know, everything else is happening. Well, I'm going to do to the end of this one and call this good. Come back in a minute and give you a put in some actual, I guess you call it base coat. It's just the final coat for this here one. Uh, and this will even up the look a lot. It's not a chrome piece, but we still got to do that. So I'm going to do right to this piece is what I'll do. And do nice light coats of this. A heavy coat is not good for summer or winter when it comes to paint. Nice light coats, multiple coats if you want a heavy coat, but nice light coats on it. 
is the best way. And I'll end up touching this up and putting a little bit more on it even maybe after I turn this camera off on what I don't like. Um, you're just looking for a smooth coat. And as you can see, that maroon really comes through this stuff. But we'll get that fixed. Well, that's that. A little bit more taping, a little bit of painting, and we're done.